this week on the polls, we are focusing largely on the rising number of COVID-19 infections in the country. But in our crossover to Germany, we'll tell you how, despite the lockdown measures there, the country still registers a worryingly high number of deaths and hospitals are reaching their limits in terms of capacity. Our doctors here in Ghana have told us that our own hospitals are gradually filling up. Emmanuel Chase is correspondent with our partners, DW. She's joining me all the way from Berlin in Germany with details of their own situation. Emmanuel, it's good to have you here in Ghana. We have a little over 1,200 active cases. First of all, give us the figures over there in Germany. Well, uh, the figures are still uh, not good. In fact, uh, just for today, we've recorded 19,000 new infections and over a thousand deaths for a single day. And Chancellor Angela Merkel warned uh, that Germany will uh, go through uh, eight to ten uh, very tough weeks. In fact, uh, the daily death toll is around a thousand and has been for more than a week now. Uh, the daily number of infections is still way too high. And in fact, the nationwide uh, seven days incidence rate is three times times higher than what is already considered a critical threshold of 50 cases per 100,000 inhabitants. There's additional measures that were introduced this week uh, in districts where the incidence rate is superior to 200 cases per 100,000 inhabitants. Um, there's a movement restriction introduced within a 15k uh, kilometers uh, radius and only necessary travel allowed in those uh, districts. Also, uh, some curfews uh, have been uh, introduced and uh, it's quite telling that uh, some of the minister presidents of the German regions uh, are now admitting that they should have listened more carefully to what Angela Merkel and scientists uh, had warned against. They say that tougher measures uh, were necessary to try and curb the infections. Well, Germany used to be one of the countries that was noted for really managing the pandemic very well. Uh, but it seems that there are still uh, widespread infections leading to the renewed lockdown and the strict measures that you talk about. Is the current lockdown likely to be reconducted? It's likely to be reconducted and it's likely that we'll also see stricter measures being uh, put in place. For example, in Bavaria, Markus Söder, the minister president, said that uh, from next week onwards, there would be a mandatory FFP2 mask wearing uh, in public transport. Up until now, it was only mandatory mask wearing, but now he wants to toughen uh, that uh, measure. Uh, there's also a wider debate here in Germany where it is advised uh, to work from home, but it's only a recommendation and there's uh, not it's not in any way compulsory, so it's pretty much at the disc uh, discretion of each company. Um, schools are already closed until the end of the month, and that is uh, likely to be reconducted. And this uh, 15 kilometers radius for movement when it comes uh, to travel could be generalized e if the figures uh, are still worryingly high. Mm. The businesses are already uh, closed, so they're likely to remain closed uh, for the weeks to come. That's a very hard one for residents, uh, given that we've had to live with this uh, virus since last year. Now, how will the tougher measures look like, apart from what you have already described, with schools that may be closed again, uh, with the radius that you describe? Are there any additional measures we're looking at here? Well, those are the measures I mentioned. For example, compulsory uh, FFP2 mask wearing to try and prevent the spread of the virus. The goal here uh, is to limit uh, the contact as well. So we can see uh, this radius I was talking about, the 15 kilometers radius being extended uh, to more districts. Uh, in fact, the population is really asked to stay at home as much as possible. We might see more of that in the coming weeks. Well, stay at home doesn't seem to have uh, worked very well over here in Ghana, but I'm sure that uh, it probably will, looking at especially the numbers of people who are dying. But let's end with the state of affairs regarding the vaccine. What has, what has happened? Well, the government drew some critics for its rollout of the vaccine. It looked very promising uh, at the beginning with over 400 vaccination centers set up all over the country. Uh, here in Berlin, for example, two former airports are being used as vaccination centers. There's another center which has a capacity of vaccinating up to 5,000 people a day. Yet nationwide, uh, there's a daily vaccination plateau of around 50,000. And that's far from the initial objectives here in Germany. Many was a 
population of 80 million people. And Health Minister Jens Spahn uh, has warned uh, that January and the first weeks of vaccination that we're in at the moment would be challenging uh, before picking up. But this is taking too much time for some critics of the government. Now, the government is trying to ramp up vaccination production uh, with a new production site of the BioNTech vaccine being set up and who should, which should be operational by March. And the Moderna vaccine will also be distributed uh, starting next week. Now, among the population, one fifth of Germans are skeptical about the vaccine and would refuse to take it. But over 60% of the population is willing to get vaccinated when they will have the possibility. Which is, uh, of course, a good start. And uh, hopefully, once they start and they see the uh, benefits, they probably, a lot more people probably migrate to that level. Uh, Emmanuel, I'll say a very big thanks to you for that update. And we hope that things get better on both sides uh, of, a, of a, a world, your side and our side. Emmanuel Chase is correspondent with our partners, TW. She's joining us all the way from Berlin in Germany with the situation there.